Friday. Uh, my name is Orly Shani. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thanks for being here. We got a good episode today. We're going to be doing a sewing DIY, but it's actually a very simple DIY. So if you're a beginner sewer, I got you covered. It's going to be very easy. I'm going to make two versions. One is super simple. One is simple. I just took the super out. It's also still very simple. So we are getting into fall and this is that time of year where it's still kind of warm, but we are like mentally in fall. We want to wear fall things. We want to feel cozy. We want to kind of bring those things out of our closet. So what I'm going to create is, you know, those like off the shoulder tops. So there's a million of these off the shoulder tops, especially during the summertime. They go straight across, really flattering, showing off that clavicle and the shoulder is always super flattering and super feminine. But I'm going to not only make a top so you know how to make that for yourself because it's always in style, but I'm also going to make a dress version with long sleeves. So we are going to have an off the shoulder, knee length, long sleeve dress, perfect for fall. And the short version is something that you can make that you can wear year round. Sometimes hemming stretch fabric, especially like a ribbed stretch like I'm using can be a little difficult. It gets like wavy and bubbly and stretches out. So I'm actually going to try using a stretchable hem tape, which is ironed on. So that's even easier for those beginner sewers. Um, so we'll see how it works out. I've never used it before. I have no idea, but we're going to try it out. And that my friends is it. Wow. Right? That was nice. Thanks. Oh my God. My belt, by the way, from my DIY. If you guys didn't catch this one, you got to watch it. Fully studded can be no sew belts. Solid. Okay. Okay. Now, mater now materials. Now materials. Now, now materials. So here is my fabric. I got like a stretch rib fabric and you can see I have it already folded in half and I already cleaned up all of my edges so everything is nice and straight. This is the dress I'm gonna use as a guide. It has a similar stretch to my fabric but it has the shape, the overall shape and fit that I want through my body. So I'm gonna fold that dress in half and just put it off to the side for just a second while I prep my fabric. You're gonna fold it in half again. Remember though, the fabric is already folded in half. So by folding it in half again, I'm able to cut my front and back of my dress at the same time. So take the dress, making sure that the fold of the dress is lined up with the fold of the fabric. So you can see there, the fold is facing me on both sides. Now I'm just cutting it out, giving myself about a half an inch of seam allowance. There is the main body of my dress. Now it's time to measure my arm. The muscles were so big, I wanted to make sure to flex, you know, to have room. A whole nine inches, very proud of myself. Now I wanna measure the length. So just line up the measuring tape to where you're gonna have it start on your sleeve and run it all the way down for however long you want it. Now take the remaining part of your fabric and fold it in half again so that you can cut your right and left sleeve at the same time. Put a marking for how wide you wanted your sleeve. Now my sleeve was nine inches all the way around, which means that when it's folded in half, it's four and a half inches. Length though, that is as is. So 20 inches long, cut your fabric 20 inches long. Now I'm just making a little uh, note for myself with pins so that I've got an easy eyeball guide. Now I can just slide my scissors all the way down going from pin to pin and I'm guaranteed to be straight. So here is my dress. I open it up and I've got my front and back and there I've still got both sleeves folded up together. So it's time to create the armhole. This is the part that I was saying makes it a little less simple but it is still very easy. We're going to cut the armhole with the sleeve and the body at the same time. So make sure that everything is super even. Take time to ensure, you can see the top there is perfectly crisp and even. Line them up with the side seams on the same side. Now take a tank top that you like the armhole of, it, it really doesn't matter, just a simple tank. And we're just putting a pin at the underarm side seam and then up on the top. A pin on either side gives you an eyeball to just connect the two into a curve. That's all I did was connect it and now I have an armhole cut out of my sleeve and my body that will fit perfectly because I cut them at the exact same time. So this is gonna fit totally perfect. Right now I'm just sewing up my side seams and you guys wanna make sure to use a zigzag stitch when you're working with stretch fabrics, that way it won't pop and snap on you when it stretches. So again, same thing with the sleeves and I just wanted to put it on before I sewed them in place just to like ensure that the fit was right, wasn't too tight, wasn't too loose and it was good, good to go. So now it's time to attach the sleeve to the dress. When I first did it, I was like, okay, you know, normally you do seams to seams, right? All your, your raw edges are kind of sewn, not raw edges, but your, your seams are sewn together. 
is, spoiler alert, I did it the wrong way. Oh, oh my god. Hmm. Oh. I did it with the scene going the wrong way. Oh, yeah, it's kind of opposite of what you would think. So I made that mistake so you don't have to. You actually want to flip your dress right side out and your sleeve right side out. So you're looking at it with all the seams on the inside. Now line up those side seams, right? The side seam of your sleeve to the side seam of your dress and pin them in place. That's going to create a nice even line from your underarm sleeve going all the way down to the side seam. Now you want to pin the top. This is going to ensure that all the way across the top of your sleeve, going across your body, back around to the other sleeve is perfectly even. Then you're just gonna add some more pins and sew that whole part closed, again, with a zigzag stitch. And when you look at it, ah, the sleeve is attached, the seams are facing the right way. All of my seams, my raw seams are on the inside of my dress. I just did the same thing to the other side and my dress is basically ready to go. This is now when I'm going to try using this heat bond. So one side of it is a little bumpy and the other side is really smooth. You want the bumpy side facing down. I recommend cutting pieces like in sections. So don't do one long section and try to do the whole thing. Cut a piece that's just going across the front of your body and do that piece first. I also found that it was much easier to work with just the nose of the iron and work little sections at a time because the hem tape is on a roll so it's kind of curly and it wants to move around on you. By going little sections at a time you can ensure that it's even and once the majority of it is down now you can kind of give it a really good press. So now I move it over and I cut a smaller section just to work on the sleeve. So again, working in sections makes it much easier. This piece I'm using to also press open my side seams. So press open the side seams, lay the hem tape on top of it, work with the nose of the iron to make sure that you're even all the way across. You can see I've got like an eighth of an inch of excess and it works perfectly. Now peel back the uh, protective paper once it's cooled and you can see, I thought it was gonna be sticky, it's not. Not only is it not sticky, but it is stretchy. So it actually works. This is totally something you can do if you wanna hem something and maintain its stretch. Now you just fold it down and it's actually easy to fold because the hem tape gives you kind of a nice clean, crisp fold. And now iron it. The heat on the iron is gonna activate the other side of the hem tape. So after having worn the dress a few times, this is what I'll say I learned. The hem tape absolutely does keep the hem in place. It maintains its stretch. It keeps it nice and crisp looking. However, what it doesn't do is it doesn't give back the sort of resilience and structure that elastic would. Fabric like this it stretches out over time. So if I could do it all over again, I would sew this casing down and just slide a piece of elastic in there so that it maintains its structure and its shape. The hem tape really will work well if you have a fabric that's super, super stretchy and always kind of comes back to itself. But a fabric like this, a ribbing that's kind of a sweater, I think elastic would have been a better choice. So if I could do it again, I would make that change. Now you can see I left open about 12 inches of my side seam because I wanted a little sexy slit. So all I'm doing now is folding back that part of the side seam that I didn't sew closed, pinning it in place, and just doing a simple stitch on the side so that I have for myself a cool little side seam. And that one was done. Now we're moving on to the super simple version. You can see it's basically a mini version of the dress. This is just the torso version, so a little tube top. The sleeve is just a straight sleeve, only about five inches long. So it's like three mini, mini tube tops. Now we're going to sew all of our side seams closed. So you can see there, everything is pinned. Sew those closed with a zigzag stitch. Do the same with your sleeve and flip it inside out. You can see I have a simple tube top. Now when I flip the sleeve, it's just a, another two little mini tube tops, which are my sleeves. I'm going to line up my side seams. So I'm not cutting out the armhole. I'm just sewing these together right here. Now I show you side to side, that's not right. You wanna go up and down. So basically pin the side seams together and then you're going to sew from the very top straight down the side seam for about one inch, double back, and that's it. That's how you're attaching these sleeves. So see, they're attached, but there's no armhole being cut. That's why this is so simple. All right, um, I'm really into them. I think they look great. Hemming, using the heat bond, leaving it raw, all those details are up to you, but the overall pattern you saw is super simple. So you can completely develop upon it, make it floor length, make it short, make the shirt cropped, make it a bandeau bra. So many options, so many options. All right, guys, I'm gonna go try it on and see how it all looks like in person moving around. 
I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. It means so much to me. It really helps the channel grow. Um, and comment down below and let me know what you thought of this video. Okay, I'm gonna go try it on. I just realized my dress is inside out. <laughs> I did the whole thing with my dress. No way, I couldn't tell. Bye.